heading into the 2022-2023 seasons, most Manchester United fans did not know how what to expect. First and foremost, they had signed a new coach and they did not know that the transfer targets that their club was going to sign. At the start of the transfer window, it emerged that the main transfer targets were Julian Timber from Ajax, Denzel Dumfries from Inter Milan, Frankie de Jong from Barcelona, Darwin Nunes from Benfica, Eriksen on a transfer and Anthony from Ajax. It quickly emerged that the United could not sign Julian Timber because he had doubts about making a transfer before a World Cup. So they turned attention to his teammate Lisandro Martinez and managed to sign him instead. Manchester United also ended up not pursuing Denzel Dumfries because they ran out of funds because some transfers such as the transfer of Anthony was inflated. The transfer for Frankie de Jong never materialized but United ended up chasing him all summer. Darwin Nunes ended up at Liverpool while they managed to get Eriksen and Anthony. In addition to those, they also signed Tyrell Malaysia from Feyenoord, Casemiro from Real Madrid in what you can say was a good window. Heading into the next window, Manchester United need to continue to sign if they want to have a good window. So looking at the squad now, most people can conclude that United need a right back, a midfielder and more, especially a number eight, a striker and a goalkeeper. You can argue that the area that needs the most priority is the striker. There are many strikers around Europe, but the one who stands out for me at the moment right now is Victor Osimhen for Napoli. His stats are very good, but when you watch him, you will conclude that he is a must signing. He has any everything that you require from a modern striker. He has very, very good movement. He is pacey. He has a very, very good strike on the ball. He has very good positioning and most importantly, he is a team player. The only concern that you have over Victor is his injury record. He has a very, very bad injury records, but I think United should take a risk on him. The next priority position is the number eight. There are many number eights position, but the most talked about is Borussia Dortmund's Jude Bellingham. He is 19 years old, English international, though we have to wait to see if Ten Hag sees him as a fit for his system and whether he chooses to come to Manchester United because a lot of clubs are after him with a lot of talks about Real Madrid making him their priority signing. The next area of concern is the right back position. It's very easy to conclude that Eric Ten Hag still fancies Denzel Dumfries, though United may opt to go after some other players. The player that has been talked about in the right back position to come to Manchester United is Jeremy Frimpo, who plays for Bayer Leverkusen. He is a Dutch international. 21 years old, formerly at Manchester City Academy. And his stats, especially the attacking stats, are very, very good. Okay, so we have to wait and see if Ten Hag fancies him as the number one target for the next transfer window. Last and foremost, we look at the goalkeeper position. Again, there are very many good goalkeepers around Europe. But the one that stands out for me is Diogo Costa, who plays for Porto. He has impressive saving ability. Recently, he saved three consecutive penalties in the Champions League. His ball distribution is very good, both with the feet and the hands. Okay, Though he recently signed a contract 
of about 75 with a release clause of about 75 million euros which is about 60 65 million pounds so it's easy to conclude that for me i think especially for the young goalkeepers he's around 22 he is the best in the market so with this signing i believe that united will be on the right track let's wait and see who the club ends up signing that's all for today see you in the next video